Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's me again Chelsea and today I am bringing you another try a chapter but for this one instead of doing a mix of fairy loot and Illumicrate we are only concentrating on books I've received from my locked library subscription. So if you didn't know what the locked library is, the locked library is run by HarperCollins, no Harper Voyager slash Magpie and they do special editions now of new releases, they um, keep these releases to themselves, they don't allow any other book boxes to do them in their monthly boxes, so it's quite interesting and I wanted to give it a go. So I've been doing it now for four months and I've got three of the books here because I want to try a chapter um, and that is because one of them I'm already reading. So for... Yeah, so for February we got this one which is The Thorns Remain by JJA Harwood. For March we received this one which is The Valkyrie by Kate Hartfield. For April we got The Book That Wouldn't Burn by Mark Lawrence. I've already started reading that so that won't be featured in this. And then this month May we got All the Dead Lie Down by Kiri McCauley. So I'm going to be trying a chapter of all three of these books for you today to see how I feel about this. My initial reaction for this book box was that I was gonna try it because it was brand new, I hadn't heard anything about it and I was really interested in the books they were gonna be bringing out. I've only heard of one of the books, which is the book that wouldn't burn. And that is also the only one that I've actually been interested in so far. So I wanted to do this video to try and get a gauge on these books that I've been receiving, see how I'm feeling about them. Because I have already said to myself that I will do six months of this and if I'm not enjoying them, then maybe I'll look to, well, I will more likely look to cancel. I've already started to think about possibly cancelling my Illumicrate and Fairy Loot because I am just amassing so much stuff from the boxes, possibly going book only, as I'm really enjoying the book only element of this subscription. So we'll just see how that goes. So we are going to start this video off firstly. Let me find somewhere safe to put these down. We're going to be starting this video off with The Thorns Remain. So I'm going to read a chapter of this and I'm going to let you know my thoughts and feelings so far. All I know is that this has got fae people in it. So I don't know if the first chapter is going to give us an awful lot of information. But we'll have a look. Right, let's try reading. Right, so one strange thing about this book is that it doesn't actually have chapters. It had a prologue and then after the prologue it says six weeks earlier part one and then it doesn't stop until it gets to part two <laughs> which is let me try and find it again there you go there which is 89 pages into the book I'm not reading 89 pages so I've read the first 12 and with that plus what I've read from the blurb the year is 1919 we seem to be in war-torn somewhere I'm feeling like it's England or Scotland in a highland village so it's based in Scotland and we haven't actually got to the part that is mentioned in the blurb which mentions about Moira Jean who is a character that I've already met now and her friends going out to the forest or the woods to celebrate and being approached by a fae so I haven't got to that point yet doesn't happen in the first 12 pages which is completely fine um, I feel like, for me personally, as long as the relationships with the characters and the descriptions of the characters keep being as descriptive as they are, then I'm going to enjoy the book, even though there may be a lack of fantasy element. Obviously, there's going to be Fae in here, but I don't know how fantasy fill this book is going to be but I'm intrigued to carry on which I'm also quite shocked at because I didn't think I'd, I'd be saying that so I'm, I'm looking forward to carrying this on and seeing what happens I'm guessing after the six weeks pass then we get to um what's actually happening but I'm not sure 
so we'll just we'll just keep seeing how we feel about that one so now that we've done that the next one up is the valkyries which is this one this is norse based um so we're gonna follow brynhild who is a shield maiden gudron who is a princess and sigurd who is a warrior um and we're gonna see how we feel about these characters so i will be back once i have read the first chapter of this and hopefully it is not 80 odd pages long so thankfully that first chapter wasn't actually that long so in the first chapter we are following brynhild and we're kind of getting a bit of backstory it's as she's been or just after she's been thrown out of Valhalla which I didn't know was a thing actually I'm not big on Norse history and myths I like the idea of Vikings and I like the idea of Viking stories I just haven't actually read a great deal of them so yeah this first chapter is her just I think there are her um just basically starting at the start of her story I'm intrigued <laughs> It's not something I want to pick up right now. Reading that first chapter did feel a little bit difficult, but I think that was more just personal preference as to where I'm at right now, not wanting to read this. But I do think it's going to be a good time and I am intrigued to learn more about this sort of Norse-ness. I don't know if that's a thing. Anyways. So far so good, we're intrigued by all of the books. The final one we're going to look at is this one, All the Dead. That is next door, I don't know if you heard that, but that was his breaks. Uh, the last one we're going to look at is this one, All the Dead Lie Down. Um, this sounds like it's going to be perfect for October. So, I don't know, if, I don't really want to start this now. Um, but we're going to start it now. And luckily the chapter isn't that long, so let's just dive right in and see if we're going to be putting this on hold for October. So this is definitely an October book, <laughs> even from the first chapter. So in the first chapter we meet Marin, who has moved from California all the way across the country to Maine to go and nanny for the summer for two girls who are the daughter of Alice Lovelace, who is a well-known horror writer. And it's already got creepy vibes, I have to say. <laughs> I think this is going to be a very good October book. Uh, even in the first chapter, she finds a bird in her wardrobe closet, whatever you want to call it, hurling itself against the door. And when she lets it go outside, it then comes back and basically, by the sounds of it, kills itself by slamming into the glass on her window. Which is all very weird. So... This is an October book, but I do have to say, all three books I am interested in and have some sort of draw for me, which is quite cool. Even the one that I wasn't massively sure I would enjoy, which is the um, one about the Fae. I'm intrigued to see what happens with that and how they mix in the historical. I don't have high hopes, and I think that's also going to be a good thing, that I'm not holding out for this book to be amazing but I am intrigued by all three. I do recommend the Locked Library, I have to say. If you haven't... Jesus. School has finished, which is why you might hear children shouting. But I do recommend the Locked Library. Obviously, I haven't actually read any of the books in great detail as of yet, but I do like the sounds of the picks. It is a sci-fi fantasy box. It is a mixture of YA and adult. They do special edition, all of the ones that you get are special editions. None of them are signed at the minute and I'm not sure if they'll ever change that, but they do come with bound in author letters. Every edition has got some form of lovely sprayed edge. Um, they have foil designs and all of the spines underneath the dust jackets actually match, which I have only recently learnt about. But yeah, that is everything for today's video. I think it's probably a nice and short one because usually I read like five or six books in these sorts of videos, but I only actually have three to try. So 
I think that's quite nice. Short and sweet as we like it. But if you did enjoy this video, please give it a like for it supports me on my channel. Leave me a comment down below if the lot library is something you'd be interested in joining. I am not a rep for them in any way. This is not an affiliate thing in any way. This is just me trying out my subscription because I haven't really done it yet. Um, and if you just want to leave me an emoji, leave any pink emojis because the boxes are bright pink when you get them. If you want to see more of me, please consider subscribing down below and ring that notification bell to get notified every single time I upload new videos. I try to upload every Wednesday and Sunday, although I don't think there'll be a video this Sunday because I'm not 100% well, so even recording this one has been a bit of a struggle, but we will see. Um, but yeah, if you want to see more stuff from me, subscribe and uh, you'll get all the notifications as to when I do upload but otherwise that's everything for today's video I hope you have enjoyed it I hope you're having a good day and I'll see you soon in the next one bye